You know, asking Jesus to come into your heart is like having someone ride with you in the country. It's like having a best friend, someone you can talk to and laugh with. But then sometimes it seems like there's someone in the back seat. Who is that? It's the alligator. And what is he doing? He's doing what he does best, lying and trying to separate you from your best friend, who is God. God and you are like two hearts talking to each other. You are the little heart, but you're in the driver's seat. He is the big heart. He loves you, and he is always trying to help you with all your problems in life. He's always encouraging you to read the Bible. He says, child, when you read the Bible, that's the time I can pour myself into you, make you stronger. Because every once in a while, that a ligator is going to cause you problems. You could be driving along, minding your own business, and he has convinced you to sin, or he has convinced you that you are sick and you will never get well. Sometimes he jumps out of the back seat and he takes over the car. That's right. Sometimes he's controlling the car and sometimes you can't even move. You feel so sick. Well, that's when you need to get back in the Bible and start reading more. Your Heavenly Father will pour himself into you more and more. The more you read, the stronger you will get so you can rebuke the devil. Sometimes you say to him, Hey, get out in the name of Jesus. And he says, I didn't even feel that. Well, that's when you need to get back and read some more. Read Galatians three thirteen. It says, Christ has redeemed us. From the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. The more you read, you will notice that you are getting bigger. You are getting stronger. You are getting more and more of the strength from God. So you try it again. In the name of Jesus, devil, you have to leave. Oh, dear. He still didn't feel it. Well, you know what? It's not a five-minute battle. Sometimes it can go on for hours or days. But you can't give up. You have to keep reading. And in the meantime, if you're sick, take your medicine. Get some rest. Drink a lot of water. But keep reading the Bible. Look. You are bigger now. You are stronger. Thanks to your Father. He pours himself into you when you read his word. Okay, let's try it again. In the name of Jesus, devil, you have to leave. He's gone. It's a victory. It's a 